Hello everybody, I'm back. So earlier I tried to upload, uh, I did my next Lumi Show reaction and it was blocked. Oh, fuck, it's not there. <laughs> Hold on. It, it's there, I definitely did it. There. Um, and it was blocked. Partially blocked in the UK. So we're going to have to do something else. So I thought, <laughs> well it's been a long time since we did an idiot abroad. So I thought we'd do that. So yeah, I'll put, it seems pretty much the case now that Limmy Show can no longer go on YouTube. The last two episodes now have been blocked in that way, so only people in America can watch them and they get like 10 views. So it's going to become a Patreon show now. You'll be able to get it in the $1 a month tier though, don't worry. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just put... Limmy Show will now be a Patreon exclusive because there's nowhere else it's going to go, is there? I know it's annoying, but I can't help it. Blame YouTube and the BBC. So we'll do an idiot abroad to make up for it. Uh, but before we do, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Jesse, Lauren Cunningham's uh, lad. He started secondary school. To, he started high school today, so shout out to him. Well done. I hope you had a great first day, and uh, I hope you always enjoy yourself. Uh, so everyone, drop a comment and give him a shout out. Say you know, well done. Good luck to Jesse. Um, and that's going to be a new thing on the channel as well. I'm going to do shout outs for people who are starting, uh, well, new jobs or moved into a new house or, you know, if your kids have started a new school or high school, anything like that, just message me on the Facebook page or the Patreon and I'll give you, give you or them a shout out, you know. And yeah, I'm not going to ask for money like some YouTubers do. I'm not saying any names, but there is literally a reaction channel who... If you wanted a shout out on their channel, they would ask you. They would expect you to pay for it. Yeah, I'm not that sick. So let's go. Jesus Christ! Seriously though. First discovered by. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you had a great day. Western Eyes, in about 1911. Machu Picchu. Anyway, this is Peru. Oh, truly one of the seven wonders. You must be very familiar with that. Breathtaking. No, I haven't heard of that. Never heard of it. Good view. I've seen that, Good yeah. Important. It's um, like a village on top yeah, of a mountain, isn't it? It's accessible by an 11 hour the way. trek through the mountains. Well, that's not accessible, is it? <laughs> it's accessible via an 11 hour trek through the mountains. Well, it's not accessible then, is it? <laughs> that's true. If you have to walk 11 hours to get somewhere, then it's not accessible, is it? It's a piss stick. <laughs> 11 hour trek through the mountains. Well, that's not accessible, is it? <laughs> that's true. That wouldn't cut the mustard on location, 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 would it? No, you it wouldn't. You can't live like that, can you? <laughs> you can't. I, I mean, I, people moan at me. Delivery just, drivers. Just moan checking at me. that the camera hasn't froze. Sometimes floor. it does. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're up there, they're going to have a right whinge on by the time they get to you. <laughs> You don't seem that phased by the fact you've got to do an 11 hour trek. I like a walk. I'll probably see loads of better things. Yeah, but there's a walk and then there's a 11 hour walk. Come More on. More way than I do when I get there. Uh, camping. <laughs> He's been to the nicer, the nicer store. <laughs> yeah, camping's all right, you know, I mean, it's quite relaxing. I'm not, you know, I don't mean like to be a, offensive against people who go, it's just, you know, a celebrity, you don't expect them to just pull out a, a crumpled, you know, creased old Nisa bag and put the stuff in it, do you? <laughs> You're out in the open air. Quite like the idea of But that. he is a humble man. The only thing that's annoying with camping is a uh, toilet situation. Up here. In India, hole in the ground. It is better. He can't possibly be better. Why not? China, where I thought they're advanced, they yeah. still had a hole in the ground. I remember that. That's that's my main panic that I've had about this trip. How am I going to do it in the woods? I know this. A little. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter what a toilet, how advanced a toilet is. Even with, you know, in Japan, they've got those toilets that have got more technology on them than a fucking space shuttle. But at the end of the day, your shit still ends up in a hole in the ground. So, <laughs> it's not really advanced at all. It just depends where you do it. That's what matters to me, where I'm doing my shit. And in camping, you're expected to do it, squat over a hole in the ground and then fill it in. No. No, thank you. <laughs> camping chair. If I went camping, I'd need to know that I was near, like, a pub or a services or something. I can't shit in a hole in the ground. I'm not a caveman. <laughs> or Bear Grylls. 
Oh, Les Stroud. So it doesn't rip anymore, I just put staples around it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. No, it's, really no, it's not. It but I used to have one of them as a kid. In my bedroom. <laughs> Camping chair in my bedroom. And it had a cup of hole in it, yep. I remember that. Oh, that's going back. Once I've used it a bit. Looks alright, doesn't it? Mine was an England one as well. I mean, it's the last one, isn't it? It's, it should be the easiest one, because in my head, I'm going, it's over now. So no matter how bad it gets, I think that'll keep me going. Iguitos, North East Peru. Not happy with this. Seriously, not happy with this. It's funny how the director's got in a different one. Ah. I'm not getting on this. Why is it landing on water? There's enough land here. Chop, chop some of the trees down. There's shitloads of land. Make another runway. Why are we landing on this? Because it's an amphibious plane. I thought we were just going to Machu Picchu. But I've got to go on a plane. And apparently there was smoke here. Yeah, look, they've got the engine open, look. Oh, is there a problem with the plane? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't get on it. If I... If the plane that I was scheduled to take to wherever it was I'm trying to get to, if I... When I got to... Well, we'll call, this this is just like on the side of a lake, but the terminal or where the plane's parked and I have to go get on it. If they were fixing the engine before I got on it, no. I ain't flying, bro. I'll fucking walk. Is it easily sorted? <laughs> you fix it? No. You, you can't fix it. Don't worry, okay. I'm not getting on a broken plane. It's okay. Is it, though? I can't work out what type of plane that is. It's not an ATR 42. Is it 42 500? It's not definitely not one of them. It's not big enough. We get on it, met the captain, he's called George, which isn't a name that pilots normally have. When you hear them on the speaker thing, it's normally the surnames they use and stuff in it, sort of the posh sounding. I've never heard, all right, George here, that's, that isn't a, a, a pilot's name, that. George! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Every time I looked over, he seemed to have his hand on something and this fella next to him sort of grabbing it, going, don't do that, and he's sort of looking like, what? I think that's why they have doors on planes, so you can't see the captain. It's nothing to do with security. <laughs> Wow, that is one of the maddest things I've ever seen. The guy flying the plane is just about to go and grab the, um... That's the power lever on a plane like this. He seems to have his hand on some... And then the guy next... the oh, He's probably the The pilot sits on the left. The first... In commercial aviation, the first officer sits on the left and the co-pilot sits on the right. So he's the co-pilot then, probably. So the pilot's just had to stop him from doing something. What the hell? And there's fella next to him sort of grabbing it, going, don't Wait, do that. What? And he's sort of looking like... What? What is it? No, they're the power levers, I think. Oh, that might... I don't know. I see, I don't know this plane. I don't, I don't have a clue what plane this is. The only amphibious plane I can think of where its power levers are on... The you know the overhead console is in the Arnold Schwarzenegger film Commando, but I don't know what plane it is. Uh, anyway, like what? He seems to have his hand on something, and the fellow next to him sort of grabbing it, going, "Don't do that!" And he's sort of looking like, "What?" I think that's what wow. was on. That is planes. <laughs> you can't see the captain. It's yeah. Nothing to do with security. It's just so you can't see the div who's driving it. The div. It puts you on edge, doesn't it? <laughs> and then it looks again. He's got butties out. Sat there having his lunch. It's only an hour flight, have it before we go or when <laughs> we get there. So it's just little things like that that niggle me. Niggle me? That would scare me. If I saw that, that, if I saw that happen, wow, I'd have a panic attack. Imagine being on a plane and seeing the pilot, the co-pilot, having to be stopped by his first officer from doing something because it's wrong. You'd be, You'd spend the rest of the flight sitting there thinking, who the fuck have I put my life... Whose hands have I put my life in today? You know? Wow. That was mad. So, are we landing down here? Where's the wonder? Where's the wonder? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, 
Ai, ai, ai. Não. No idea what kind of plane that is. Hello, mate, Steve here. Hope you had a good flight and everything. And uh, just wanted to let you know about a very slight change of plan. Um, Ricky and I were having a chat. It just says Twin Otter Series 300 on the side, but no. Sort of agreed. Magic, they're in Peru in South America, aren't they? So it might be an Embraer. Because Embraer's Brazilian. Hmm. Might be an Embraer then. And they, you know, they service most of South America with small planes like this. Mm, who knows? It seemed a bit mad for you to go straight to Machu Picchu. So we thought, um, oh, you what doing your way there through the jungle. You know what I mean? Just, just follow the Amazon. Um, I think it's only about the Amazon safe to, to get to the wonder. Obviously, you know, we we wouldn't leave you stranded. We've um, arranged for a local jungle guide called Will to look after you. He's got oh no! To stay and everything. Again, they're leaving him in the Amazon jungle with some random. What? All right. And as always, very jealous of you, my friend. Um, hope you enjoy it. Bye. Bet you are. Wow. <laughs> You couldn't, literally couldn't pay me to go in the Amazon. I just wouldn't do it. I've seen enough survival shows. That place is hell on earth for someone like me. For someone who's arachnophobic. Uh, I, I don't know the technical name for snake phobia, but I've got snake phobia as well. Anxiety. So I'll just be constantly on edge thinking, what's crawling up my leg? What's that I can feel on the neck? No. Fuck that. No. I have half a panic attack if there's a fucking spider in my bedroom. So in the Amazon, I'd be dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay here <laughs> and just watch other people go <laughs> and suffer. It just annoys me because they always say to me, that, well, you always come across pissed off and all that, and people would love to do what you're doing. But they wouldn't because I'm constantly on edge. Exactly. I slept for about 30 odd hours. And that little. You ever been to the jungle? In the sure. plane didn't help. No, but the, why would I? Why would I go to the jungle? I've never watched Tarzan. I thought I'd like to go there on all the days. Tarzan! It never looks great. That's because it's a cartoon, Carl. <laughs> it's the last one. I know, but that's what worries me. It's, it's the last one. That's, that's I mean, Springfield in The Simpsons always looks really nice, but I don't sit there watching it thinking, oh, I'd love to go there one day on holiday. When it was Ricky and Steve are going, let's go out on a bang. Oh yeah, is this the last episode of the series? Yeah, it is. Carl Comes Home is the next one. Is this it? That'll be funny. I don't want to see all of it, so get that out of your head. I mean, it's no different to the Thames, is it? No, 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 it's no different to the Thames, that Carl. Because the Thames is full of red belly piranhas as well. Fuck me. There's a jungle one. We stayed in the jungle. Mm, that's a good coffee. It's getting to the end of the day. So I've got to go in the jungle. I've got to try and sleep in the jungle. S oh, Be careful. I have to watch where you're walking. I couldn't do that. He has many species of dangerous things. I walk like a scorpions, tarantulas, spiders, uh, ants. Fire ants. A lot of fire ants in the Amazon, I think. Or, the, you know, the red ones. I think it, the red ones that are really painful bites. Tarantula hawks, I think. I think they're in the Amazon. It's reckon they've got the most pine, pine, painful bite of any insect or arachnid. It doesn't kill you, it just, par it just cripples you. <laughs> I think. I think I've got that right. Try to remember on the YouTube video that I watched where they talked about it on my wild backyard. Or was it Coyote Peterson? Oh, I can't remember. But either way, tarantula heart bites fucking hurt. Fucking hell. Wanna go home. <laughs> I wanna go home. Now we are very lucky to find a light at the moment to lucky. find a place where lucky. we can. We're lucky. We are lucky. Has he fallen in some mud? <coughs> wow, he has. Look how thick that is. Put a fit there over there. Look at what? On that? Yes. Can't be bothered. 
what is this about? <laughs> How do you know where you're going now? There's, there's no path or anything, you're just chopping away. This is the place where we stay. You'll be resting tonight in here. This is a good place, is it? Yeah. Oh, my God! Look at all the ants on those pair of shorts! Oh, they're boxers! Well, budgie smugglers. But look, look at the sheer amount of insects just crawling on... Oh, I could, I could never. I could never. The Amazon? No. The only Amazon I can ever have anything to do is Amazon Prime, and that's it. <laughs> no, I am not going here. Jesus Christ, that alone makes me feel... Ugh. Yeah, they are. Look, oh, the red as well, I think. Is that red? Might be the lighting. <sighs> He's literally got ants in his pants. <laughs> Don't put them on. What'd you make of the campsite? Awful. It's not a campsite. What are you no, it's about? not. No, it's not. Campsite. This isn't a campsite. It's just a patch of flat ground that he decided to put, build a fire in. I've been to campsites. <laughs> A toilet, showers, maybe a little arcade. Even holidays. On a, you know, on the front gate, checking you've got a pass to come in. To them, at home, watching it, they're going, don't know what all the fuss is about. We've seen this time and time again. I am knackered. Try being there. I don't there. know how to get that across to them at home, that I'm pissed off. Oh, don't worry, Carl, you're getting it across to me one loud and clear. Get, get your, your camping chair out. I've filmed a little bit so far. I know, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we could do. Like Attenborough does. He's got it right. He does a little thing at the start going, here I am in the Amazon. You never see him again. He's on a voiceover. I bet he lands. I bet they go, keep that fucking plane engine running. Here I am in the Amazon. Then he fucks off, back off, back off. That fucking engine running. <laughs> Keep that fucking engine running. You can't. <laughs> it's true though. You see him at the beginning, and then you never see him again for the rest of the show. You just hear him. So he's not there. It's just, you know, it's actually his cameraman and his. He's never in the place that he's describing. I mean, obviously, you really expect a 94-year-old... Well, no, he's 90, is he 97 now? A 96, 97-year-old to be, you know, in all these wild places. Is he fuck? Boom, and he sat in a studio, and there I was with a frog. Where? <laughs> we never see him anymore. <laughs> he's, never there, he's never there with a frog in his hand. It's always, like, a, a big close-up. You don't know where he is. He's at home. <laughs> and I, I'm sat in a toilet that I've made. <laughs> That I know I'm, I'll be sat here later having a shit, <laughs> thinking, What am I doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't understand what they're thinking. I mean, I thought Ricky and Steve were sending me to Machu Picchu, so why am I in the middle of the Amazon now? Yeah! You're supposed to be going to Peru, aren't you? That was last night then. I can't stay here again. I can't. I, I can't. I couldn't stay there once. Ah, oh, fucking shit. I can't stay here again. I've got to move on. <laughs> I just love watching him get pissed off for the most simple shit. And I can't do the tent again. No. So I might as well forget this. I mean, just knowing... Like one o'clock in the morning. The insects. In the, morning, the spiders. Everything, you know, the, the scorpions, just knowing what's around me in that place, I couldn't do it. I mean, just the thought of the Brazilian wandering spider, as I think about it sat here now, in a fucking two-bedroom house in the middle of England, it makes me feel, you know, funny. So, being actually in the same jungle as it, no. No way, I couldn't do it, so... Pfft. Mad props to you, Carl, for even going there once. One o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, I'm pissing into an Evian bottle. I'm pissing into an Evian bottle? This wasn't the plan. This wasn't the plan. 
nothing makes sense in here. That's the other thing, nothing makes sense. Now, that's how much water I had last night. That, there's a little bit left in the bottom there. There you go. So how have I managed to piss that much? Oh! It doesn't add up. I've Why aren't you pouring it out? Junk. And look at the colour of it, that isn't healthy. I'm you piss in the bottle and then you pour it out somewhere, away from, oh, you minging bastard. Not a doctor, but I've never pissed like that before. I mean, I can't believe I'm actually critiquing somebody's piss, but I mean, it's kind of on the dehydrated side. Yeah. It's amazing how quick you can change that. You know, if you, like, I, I'll drink two bottles of water in an hour and then I'm basically peeing water. <laughs> Whereas an hour ago it was the same colour as fucking a packet of quavers. <laughs> it's amazing how quick you can change things in your body. I know I'm not that old yet, but I reckon this is the lowest point of my life. Really? Oh, this, oh no, that's a mouse. Is he expecting him? Oh, he's got a. Is that beans and sausage? <laughs> That is proper council estate food, is it not? Beans and sausage in a tin on toast. Yeah, that is a a fat scran, as we would say in Yorkshire. <laughs> Bit of cheese on. These are all right, these. Are they? I mean, I'd eat a rodent. If there's nothing else, but it's hard to... Look at... But is that like some sort of care ration? Has he got that from an army supply store? Got to sit over there and tuck down you know, tuck into a, a rat no. when I know I've got beans and sausage here. Beans just and sausage? A bit, yeah, exactly. A bit gaff, not it? Would you rather have Heinz? I don't normally cook at home. Or Ratatouille? <laughs> or for Suzanne. That's the Disney film with the rat, isn't it? Yeah, it must be Ratatouille, yeah. Would you rather have him? Or a childhood the classic? Is, she does the cooking, I wash up. I've got a dishwasher now. I don't really do anything. <laughs> oh my god, look at all that. I couldn't, I just couldn't. Just have a wander about. Basically, I'm just showing you a tree now. There's nothing there. Don't be thinking that green thing's anything. Anything? No, that's just a bit of mould. You know, do we actually need these creatures for the world to, to go on? <laughs> right, that one there I'm talking about, the one with its head down. Right, there you go, it's walking over there. Oh, they're black ants, they're really bad. Yeah, they've got a bite, they, they pack a punch. Have a little wrestle with another other one, just started a fight, so that's, that's... That used to be a big problem for American soldiers in the Vietnam War, black and red ants. Yeah, they used to cause them a lot of problems. I think they just used to burn them. If they found, like, an ant burrow, they'd just set it on fire. Get rid of it. Bit of a hooligan, that one. Everywhere you look, there's stuff whizzing round your ears all the time, or crawling up your arm, or I'm just going to get bitten a lot. Little stick insects oh. that we found on a tree. See, now that I don't mind, really insects like that. Around. Look at that little fly sat there as well. Stick insects. Imagine it. Imagine being a stick insect walking about. You'd be forever going, is that what's his name? And, and, and you'd, be, you'd have to walk all the way up to the twig. You know, oh, it's just the a twig. bloody twig again. It doesn't work. She looks nice. I'm going over there. All right, love. Oh, oh it's just a stick. <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard life to be a stick insect. <laughs> right, who is... Who taught this guy about the animal kingdom? That is not how it works at all. <laughs> What's that tree all about? What trees, the hell? dangerous trees. See what I mean? Not even the just the insects. Even the trees are deadly in the Amazon. Sit. No, I couldn't. I'd never. You couldn't pay me enough to go there. Never. I was worried never about in a million years. and spiders and shit. Fucking tree with knives coming out of it. <laughs> wow. I feel like I've seen the jungle now, you know. You know, and it is incredible when you think about this. It is literally just evolution. Like, all venomous insects, spiders, snakes. 100 million years ago, 
they'd be about as dangerous as, you know, a, a garden frog. But because of they live in places like this, it's just been an endless battle for, you know, survival of the fittest. So they've evolved and developed more and more deadly defence mechanisms to the point where we are now and you've got Brazilian wandering spiders and, you know, rattlesnakes and it's just incredible that over... They've been able to develop these things just by the need of needing to defend themselves more sufficiently. You know? I mean, us as humans, we haven't really changed at all. I mean, we, we've got rid of us. We, we changed from monkeys to humans, and then we got rid of his tail. That's why we've got a tailbone. They'll be gone in another million years or so. We'll lose his tailbones. But we haven't developed venom or fangs or, you know, claws. It's just incredible, you know, the way things work in nature. It really is an amazing... When you think about it, it really is. I've had a route around. I've seen all the insects and that, so... I might as well <laughs> Mind you, it don't matter. We're the deadliest animal on the planet. We don't need fangs and venom. We are the deadliest creature. We just are. Just have another look at the Amazon. You know, everyone seems to make a fuss about it. That's a it. fact. Saying, oh, you know, the Amazon's nice and everything. What, what I saw of it the other day, I wasn't that impressed. Ah. But Will wants me to go out again, so I might as well, because there's nothing else to do. There it is. Will that come over? Huh? What? Tienes una manguera. Tienes una manguera. Oh. I had no idea they had dolphins swimming about. Dolphin? Do you like dolphins, Carl? In the Amazon? Um, yeah, no. Right. It sort of gets on my nerves how people say they're really intelligent, because I've never seen any, any of them do anything that's blown me away. They are. I don't know, maybe it's just the way they get raved about so much by people dolphins saying... Dolphins are intelligent. That's what annoys me, because everyone's always calling me a div. You are a div. So <laughs> the fact that they're going, yeah, Carl's an idiot, but they're going, yeah, dolphins are bright. Yeah. That's, that's all I mean. Uh <laughs> Go. Dolphins are intelligent. Again, evolution. They've evolved to be able to kill sharks just by using their noses in the right way. Right, big sharks as well. I don't mean little... Whoa. I don't mean like little makos and blues. I mean big sharks. Like hammerheads and tigers. Oh. It's the Mind you, hammerheads aren't really that big compared to like the big fish. You know, like, I, I don't mean big... Fish, I mean, you know, when you say big fish to describe someone who's big in something, yeah, I mean that way. Like the best player at American football team, you say, yeah, he's the big fish in this team. I meant that way. Anyway. He's Ginger Crinkle Crunch. <laughs> ginger Crinkle Crunch. It tastes even better, eh? It's even better here, does it? What? I want to show you something. Come on here. What? Come on. It's not an insect, not is well. it? I have something to show you. I think you never see that. Do you yeah, see it's, this here? It's, it's going to be something dangerous. Fucking hell. What? I think he <gasps> wants to eat something. Oh, it's a Did snake. It's poisonous or it's no, not it's poisonous. poisonous. It's not poisonous. It's dead by you, but it's not poisonous. You don't say poisonous, you say venomous. Well, it's not poisonous. No, so they are, again, that's no good. They are... So these are the ones that wrap round you, yeah. and then you sort of oh, breathe in. it's a constrictor. <sighs> What's that? I'm going to stand over here a minute, because... Why? There's a channel on YouTube where you can actually... There's a, it's called Desert Wolf Armoury. It's got loads of different snakes. You know, venomous snakes, constrictors, Burmese py reticulated pythons. And he, he, you know, he, he film. He, he'll point a camera at the snake's tank, and then he'll just throw either a mouse in it, if it's a, a small, like a rattlesnake. You'll see it bite the mouse, and then the mouse will be dead in like thirty seconds. Or if it's one of his big constrictors, he'll throw a full, fully grown live rabbit into the tank, and you'll just see it wait for it to get in the right position, and then this big, massive, rubbery snake that you look at and you think. Ooh, that thing can't move quite fast. Next thing you know, it's got it in its mouth, wrapping itself around it. It's am amazing. Ch go check that channel out, guys. It's called Desert Wolf Armoury. You are in the jungle. 
I know I am. I wish I wasn't. This it's one's got me talking, this. this. I love nature. Nothing's normal, is it? I had two minutes over there, sat by a fire having a biscuit and a cup of coffee. <laughs> and all this is going on. I shook it a bit of biscuit. Well, what? No. I think it biscuit. You how eat do you biscuit. know? How do you know? Have you ever tried feeding one of those? No, biscuits? they well, eat they they Carl Pilkinson sees a random snake, an unidentified snake, in the middle of the Amazon. Just take a minute to think about how significant that is. Yeah? In the Amazon, unidentified snake. And the first thought he has is, I'm going to chuck it a bit of biscuit, see if it'll eat it. And then his guide is like, it doesn't eat biscuit. He's like, how do you know? Have you ever tried? <laughs> For fuck's sake! Ah. <laughs> I can't with this block. Then. Listen to me, let me watch this. You're wasting your gin ginger crinkle crunch. Uh, what? Biscuit. Okay. Yeah. Can you get a light on it? The head is over here. Please bite him. I'm wasting I'm the joking. biscuit, really. <laughs> oh, look at that moon. You never see the moon like that in the UK. That detailed. It just looks like a round white thing with a few the noise is doing like faded black grey spots on it. Shite. Different insects going off all the time. Yep, that's what it is. And that never ends. Endless sound of nature. Well, they say most of the jungle is nocturnal. Yeah, it is. But I'm not surprised. It all has to be awake through the night. There's no chance of getting any sleep here, even if you're not a nocturnal animal. <laughs> Let's face it, with this racket, I'm not going to get any sleep, am I? All right, mate. How's it going? Look at um, that! Good. Well... You see the size of the sun then? I've never seen that either. You don't see that here, either. The sun coming up and it's massive. And that's another thing about space that doesn't make sense, you know. It doesn't matter where you are on the planet. The, the sun is still always going to be however million miles away it is from us. So how can it appear bigger if you're on one side of the planet to the other than it, than it does if you're on that side? Because the difference in the distance is only a few thousand miles. That doesn't make sense to me, that. And from the UK, the sun's tiny, smaller than the moon most days. But I'd love to see that. Oh, you're heading upstream. We've arranged... <laughs> Look at the size village. of the hole! Um, a little village. Um, oh, they're not the sending him into a tribe, are they? are expecting you. Um, and you should know... They are, polite, yep, respect. they used to be cannibals. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you were <really> laughing! <laughs> Alright, mate. See you later. See I'm you later! Not a holiday. Alright. Oh, my God! Is he having a laugh? <laughs> Is he having a laugh? <laughs> what does he mean, they used to be cannibals? Used to be cannibals. Yeah, because being, being, being a cannibal, it's just something that you can just stop, isn't it? I used to be a cannibal. It's like saying, I used to smoke. I used to drink. <laughs> oh, my God. I used to play Call of Duty for ten hours a day. <laughs> wow. What are they doing now, then? What happens if it's just... It's like the main goal of Stephen and Ricky for this show is to get him killed. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> That's like it's... You know, when they were thinking up the the, the idea of this show on the board, that was at the top. <laughs> I'm like a rare devocacy Get Cal that killed. Triggers something off. I haven't met a white man for, for years. Before you know it, they're all giving it all this. Hey, 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 you're around a fire. Me sat in a pot. Well, what am I going to do? You ruined too much. <laughs> He's not. He's going to see Weighing people that used to be cannibals. Just come stay with some cannibals. Make you feel, look, you know, feel at home. Feel at home. Okay. <laughs> I haven't got a problem. If I got hungry, I'd quite happily eat human. Mm. There's no different. They say it tastes like pork anyway. Who says that? Well, say if they took the lid off and it was just a foot. No, humans don't taste like pork, they taste like chicken. Mm. And they sort of said, have a bit. I I'd almost be a bit like, well, I want to know a bit about the person first. In the same way that we do with chickens. 
<laughs> I'll have you lot wondering, hmm, <laughs> do we really know this guy? <laughs> but he is right, you know, if you got hungry enough, there was that football team, wasn't there, that crashed in the Andes. They eventually started eating each other. There's no but I don't know, I, I mean, obviously I'll say no, I couldn't do it, but you can't possibly know unless you're in that situation. But, oof, that's some Jeffrey Dahmer shit, that, yeah. And they say it tastes like pork anyway. <laughs> we'll say if they took the lid off and it was just a foot. A foot? And they sort of said, have a bit. No, you're supposed to eat. Like, well, I want to know a bit about the person yes. first. <laughs> the same way that we... I want to know a bit about the person before I eat him. But if you ever are in that situation, you're supposed to eat the uh, the buttocks first, the glutamus maximus, because that's the best meat. It's the closest, you know. Yeah. What do you do with chickens? Everything's got to be, is it organic? Where's this been brought Organic! Up? What field has it been on? What's it been eating? Is it free range? Be free like range that. human. I'd want, organic foot. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd want to know the history of it. Did he have athlete's foot? Did he have athlete's foot? <laughs> no, he did not. An organic foot. I'd, I'd, organic I'd... foot? I want an organic foot. I'd want to know the history of it. Did he have athlete's foot? How often, How often did he change his sock? Something that goes, yeah, this is a nice foot, it's worth eating. <laughs> right, didn't wave back, so that's... They don't know what that means, or they hate me already, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> nothing, nothing again. I'm not doing it again, it's embarrassing. It's like asking someone's oh name three God, times. Oh my God, look at these. Early. Are they smiling even? No, they won't be. This is proper, isn't it? This is like proper trying. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Have you seen me? What a knobhead I look. What a way for them to see me. <laughs> There's a pair of the steps there. Are they up there? Oh, they're Go all up there. Go up there. Well, there's stairs here. There's some stairs! You think you would have shot this ah! for me? It's a new. <laughs> this might be the best episode so far. I mean, it's had endless talking points and it's hilarious. There's stairs here. You think you would have sorted this out for me if they knew it was coming? Oh, yeah, I'm sure the Amazon um, Amazonian tribe will just roll the red carpet out for you. You know. White man. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, God. Do I want the bag yet? All right. OK. Thanks, prick. He's glad to see the back of us, isn't he? Yeah. Miserable twat. See you then. Yeah. Look at him, he can't get out of here quick enough. He knows more than I do, obviously. Look at him. Not hanging about, no waving. Mm, have they been shooting arrows at his boat as he's gone past here by mistake, uninvited? You know, Brazilian tribe, you don't, you don't fuck around with them, you hear the stories, don't you? You know, you're about western white men, nat naturalists or whatever they call themselves, going into the territory of tribes to try and teach... There was one in the news a few days ago. You know, I don't know if you were American or British, you went to a tribe to try and teach them English. And they fucking ate him. <laughs> you know? Literally, fucking killed him and ate him. So, oh, you, you could, again, you couldn't pay me to do this. Raymond! Fuck that. Raymond! <laughs> Raymond's gone. Anyone watching at home, he does do tours. <laughs> oh, they've got spears. Hello. Alright, ciao. How are you oh. doing? They take handshakes. How are you doing? They've been contacted then. This is a contacted tribe. No way that they've learnt. Yeah. How do you say hello again? Hello. The chief? Around? The chief. Presidente. 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 Oh, this is going to be hard work. See, I don't like that. I don't like the big, uh, all the attention. That's one of the reasons I haven't got married. 
Oh, all that photo, everyone's looking at me. What the fuck is this? Look. We were there, we know. This must be a tribe that, like, deifies, like, big cats, then, if they've got these things sticking out of their nose. They look like cat whiskers. Because all tribes like this, they have, they, they don't follow, like, our religions. They, they have their own, that we've, you, you'll never have heard of them. And most of them worship, like, big cats, animals, that, you know, a thousand years ago they could never kill or never catch. So I'm guessing this tribe follow like a leopard or a tiger god because they've got like whiskers on their face. That, that's just a guess though. I might be wrong. Oh, I'm I probably am. Like, what's going on? Ah, there I you. Right, what, what's ah. he saying, Aldo? They're a bit droopy, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but they were. God, it amazes me that this, you know. These tribes exist though. They still live like it's the Middle Ages. And they, have, they want nothing to do with the modern world. And you could say whatever you want about that, but it must be so peaceful. Imagine not being connected to anything that we, you know, all this endless media bombardment of, oh, this is how you should act. You should be like this. You should be woke. You should be this. You know, and these people, they just get up, go out, hunt for their breakfast, come back, chop it up, put it on a fire, eat it, sing songs, tell stories, sleep, next day, wake up, repeat. It must be just, it's just a simple life, isn't it? There must be such a sense of, like, peace around a life like this. You know where to look. We were there, we're now on stuff. It's like, what's going on? Alright, what, what's huh? he saying, Aldo? You don't mind it? What? Huh? You don't what? mind it, Joe? What's that? You don't mind it, Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. Where are you coming? That's what I say. Why am I coming? Where are you coming? Why did you point down? <laughs> Ricky and Steve, my friends, asked me to stay here on the way to Machu Picchu. I've just been explaining to um, a fella here that I'm on my way to Machu Picchu. Mm -hmm. Need somewhere to sleep? On my way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be staying here in a tent. Um, right, let's all uh, let's get on with it. Oh, we don't have stuff to do. Don't offend these people, cameraman or not, they'll fucking chop you up. There's a woman with an axe. Ooh. Right, um, and Run. she's not wearing the stuff. It's like she didn't want to join in. There's a, it's mad, isn't it? No matter she, where you live, there's a nutter. It was the wrong way around. Whether it's on a council estate in Manchester, <laughs> London, in the jungle. There's always one in who doesn't want to join in. <laughs> swinging an axe about. <laughs> Looks like he's going to chuck it down. No one else seems to be showering. I know. I don't understand why. This is you know, they've got all got this stuff on their for this like red paint on their forehead. I wonder what that signifies. Because even you know these kids look about four. He looks about six or seven. These two, he looks about seven or eight. They've got it. Oh wait, no, he, does he? Oh, he's got a long fringe, you probably can't see it. But I wonder what that means. Hmm? Because that's another thing with tribes. They all have paint on them, don't they? Paint on the face and the body. Seems to be showering. I know, I don't understand why. This is this is brilliant. And a headband. I mean, this children, this is... They believe in nature and stuff, don't they? That you use what God gives you. I mean, I don't know, I've just made that up. They haven't said anything like that, but I imagine... I mean, that's, that's not far off. Do. Yeah. Minute. Is that a football goal? What sort of tribe is this? Because there are some tribes that aren't totally isolated. You know, they do... They have allowed some elements of modern life into their community. There are some tribes that have got a football pitch in the middle of their community, village. 
there are some that use smartphones, I think. I think I've heard of that somewhere on YouTube. It's... So this must be one of those, you know, they've... They still choose to live like this, you know, the traditional way, but they've... That, that's good, you know? Football is something of great benefit to anybody. So I'm happy to see that, good for them. Gives the kids something to do. The, more, the best thing you can do as a kid, as far as I'm concerned, if you don't have the means to go... Is it alive? ...to a fun fair, if you're li living like it's this, then football... It's not looking good for it, is it? I don't know. Oh, it's heads on a thing. But I'm yep. guessing things aren't looking good for it. Yeah, that's... it's had it. But I don't want to say don't do that, it's cruel, because they'll go, OK, we'll go back to our old times then. Get in the pot. <laughs> so if it's me or that, I'll let them have that. Ah, oh, God, yeah. There you go. Don't you want the head? You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love to eat that. I saw you cutting it off. That was a person's you skull. You eat it. But can you let them know that I don't feel like a... Whose skull was that? I mean, these are animal skulls, but... And this, is that? Okay, I'm a bit more concerned now. Head. You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love to eat that. I saw you cutting it off. I mean, is it they're dead? You cut it off, you Or have they killed it. someone? But can you let them know that I don't oh. feel like I should take the food from them? Everybody wants you to but you're not telling them what I'm saying. You're going to offend I need, them if This you is don't. the one time I need you to, to explain. I don't, I don't think I should eat it. I shouldn't take food off them. That's I'm not it, actually a meat eater. Mm. I don't eat meat. Vegetarian. Mm. What are they doing for pudding? What? You're not a meat... Oh, wow. What's happening? What's, what's happening, Aldo? I didn't think I'd see that today. You know, a fella getting poisoned off a frog. A bit weird, wasn't it? And they believe that if they stick it on you, it gives you extra energy to go off and hunt, stuff like that. It's all about up there, isn't it? You know, I mentioned my auntie Nora with the amount of drugs she's on. If she was here, she'd be up for that. She'd go, on, what's that? What, 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 what <laughs> drug she's on? If she was here, she'd be up for that. Me auntie in order. Go on, add that. What, what, what are you mixing there? Toad and a bit of spit. Oh, I want to try that. <laughs> if it hasn't been tested on animals, it's been tested on me auntie in order. <laughs> if it hasn't been tested on animals, it's been tested on me auntie in order. <laughs> oh, so I thought they just burnt in with a stick. And now they put in the... The toad sweat and man spit on it. That hurt. Ah, ah. One, one thing I've noticed about all the children in this tribe, the, well, the boys, they've all got like these rounded bellies. Like, um, you know when you used to, like, in the late 20th century when they used to do appeals for starving kids in Africa, they always used to have like swollen abdomens, didn't they? And it used to be a, a, a source of jokes. From comedians, they used to say, their kids are starving. Have you seen the size of their bellies? But all these have got it as well. I mean, they're not as swollen as that, but I don't know. Is that a genetic thing among this tribe? Because I can't imagine the, uh, medically speaking, life like this is 100% uh, safe, shall we say. So is that something that's. I don't know. I mean, look. His belly's swollen, his, there. Here, you can see it's, yeah, so is that, it's just something I've noticed. Does that, does that hurt? It makes you feel dizzy. Why do you want that? Is he getting high off it? Why do you want to oh, feel dizzy? Oh. I'm going to be sick in a minute. See? His. Say no. Hello. No, I'm okay. Though. No, I'm full of full, of, full life. of life. I'm great. I'm great. No, I'm full of energy. 
Tell him, tell him now. Oh, that's that's him. I have that. What's up? Mmm. Sod off. He just told an Amazonian tribe member to sod off. Carl? Mm. You can't do that. Sod off. If they translate that. I'm not having it done. <laughs> Come on, let's go hunting. Oh, God. Now what? Let's see what's happening here. Keep walking. He's got his tits. <laughs> Is this for the hunting or is she just a bit forward? <laughs> when the women came over, put a bit of makeup on me. Uh, <laughs> is this just for the hunting or is she just a bit forward? Keep walking. Is this for the hunting or is she just a bit forward? <laughs> when the women came over, put a bit of makeup on me, made me look like a like a jaguar. Oh yeah. That's the idea. Why are you having a show here today? Hang on. <laughs> Young Johnny picking his arrows this for the championship. That's what I do in my head, sort of build it up like it's important. Just for £100,000. And he's got it. He's going to kill someone. <laughs> he missed! By a long way. Go. They were good. I had a go. I was shite. Yeah, you could get a fucking bus in that gap. <laughs> I must have had about nine or ten goes. Oh. But people were starting to leave. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Looks like they're going hunting. I thought they would have said to me, do you want to just come? Even if they didn't want me there. I know I wasn't that great this morning with the with the arrows. Yeah. But they didn't even sort of sneak off and say, look, we're going to leave him behind because he's useless. Let's just go one at a time. Let's not make a big deal out of our hunt. <laughs> whole, the whole village came out again to see him off. And that's another thing as well Ooh. about tribes that I read before I come here. They only count up to three because they don't need a higher number. Really? I read that. I read that. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if you like this, you'll love it. You're the red, right? These are all yours. Oh! I'm sorry. I just find that really cute. Cow inviting one of the little kids in the tribe to come play Connect Four with him. Because they'll never have seen that before. Oh, I find that really cute, actually. That's quite sweet world where they don't deal with mass. It's all like, do you want chicken leg? Yeah. How many do you want? I'll have two. He's, he's, he's not got it, has he? So, now watch. Right, so I win. Whee! <laughs> have you been at home? Yeah. Aww. That's really How sweet. I find that really sweet. Got three. What, is that all we've got? No, Harry got two. Oh, so we've got three and two. Oh, great. They don't need to, they don't need to go higher than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the Connect Four. Which is why they probably don't understand Connect Four. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> go on, someone else have a go. Oh, this I the ball come over. She's got a sort of a intelligent kid's haircut. <laughs> This fella looks serious. He's got an intelligent kid's haircut. <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> if you look like, I don't know, if you look like young Sheldon or something. Oh, I haven't heard from you. I hope you've not just been mucking around. Are you still alive? <laughs> this is a job. Um, let's get you out of the jungle. Yes. You're going to catch a flight now to Cusco. Um, What's that? And you're going to do it? the Inca Trail. 
Come on, mate. Let's get on with it. All right, boy. See you later. <laughs> George, you down the kit. Paul? Hey? Uh, I, I think they want you to pay for all the gifts you've been given. Can you get Aldo to tell these that I haven't got any money? Cos oh, you bastard. He's a bit awkward, this. Aldo. He doesn't translate anything. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll sort this. We'll sort this. Don't worry about it. Don't go anywhere. No, not India. Fuck off. See? Please. Play. It doesn't translate anything. Booyakasha! Don't need to pay for the gifts! Yeah. But it's not because I don't want them. It's because I just haven't got any money. See, I don't oh, have any money. They don't give them give me something. Any money. Mind you, they probably have, the money they probably has no money. value to them. Seems like a bad ending now. It's all gone a bit downhill now. <laughs> the lonely one. Bullshit. Oh, he left them the Connect Four, that's sweet. Basically, I've got to get... Those kids will get hours out of that. Because it's a tribe. They have nothing. They play with. I mean, you saw that little girl, and the other kids just playing with the animals around their little village. So that Connect Four game set, that'll give those kids hours of fun. So that's yeah, I'm I'm really happy to see they did that, left it to them. Get on a plane and get over to a place called Cusco. Start the Cusco walk up to Machu Picchu, which is fine by me because it's we're getting closer and closer. It's just, you know, let's get on with it. Just waiting for a plane. Weird that, isn't it? People at home will be going, but you're in a bus stop. <laughs> Not. The this, airport. That's the airport. <laughs> Where is the runway? Just, just over there, I think. That, that field. Oh, <laughs> the field's an air, uh, the, it's the, not, the runway. It's not an airport, then, is it? That's a rural airport, isn't it? a bloke who built a hut and got his lawnmower out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <insane. laughs> It just seems a bit mad that they've got planes when they haven't got runways. Don't worry, Carl. Like people on Bullseye when they used to win boats when they live in a block of flats. <laughs> Is it the same plane? Looks like somewhere you'd expect to see in Italy, you know, like them beautiful... Italian towns that you see where it's like red brick or red roof. It just reminds me of that a bit. This this area. Ten thousand eight hundred feet of above the sea. That needs like thirty percent less oxygen. I've never heard of that. So that's gonna wear me out, isn't it? Is this near where they went in Top Gear? Cause that was yeah, that was Peru. They they would uh, was is it the Andes? The the drove so high above sea level that they were nearly suffocating. I mean, no, actually, I don't. No, they weren't faking it, actually, because they did tests. They brought a machine that, you know, measures the blood oxygen level, your SATs, and they all had lethal levels. You know? I mean, Jeremy said, if you. You know, if you got brought, if if a doctor measured that and that's the result you got, they'd take you to hospital in an ambulance emergency. So ah. they don't tell you that, do they? Come and see the wonder and suffocate to death. <laughs> I mean, I know the wonder is meant to take my breath away, but not, not literally. Like this. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> Is that a breath? They've got what? You, you can buy oxygen in reception. You can buy oxygen in a hotel in this place because it's so high. Is it like, do they have like wow. a, a little cupboard like the fridge that they have where they charge you ridiculous amounts for a bottle of water? <laughs> there they'll have a cupboard full of oxygen and they... Wait a minute, I've just realised. So there is literally a hotel in the world that sells air. So it's a hotel operated by Walker's Crips then. <laughs>
sorry. I had to do it because they are tight bastards with their crisps. Have you seen how much of that fucking bag's empty? Bastards. <laughs> they charge you ridiculous amounts for a bottle of water. Up there, they'll have a cupboard That's full mad. of oxygen. Literally, and they know they're if you're in there, going, <gasps> you're not going to be going, how much? Uh, you're going you're gonna to pay how <laughs> much, you, you, what price do you put on a bottle of air if you need it? Yeah. Air is literally right free. scum going on here. Imagine they charge you for it. For air. <laughs> he bought it though. Yeah, just about. Just uh, <laughs> just left there yesterday. Just in Costco. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Sky One. Want to talk about series two? Yeah, well, I'm not doing. I'm not doing any more of this. So you can tell them now. You, you know, are. Don't, don't wait for me to get home. Just You're say doing two he's more. not interested. He's been around the world now. He's seen it all. He's done everything. Knock it on the head. I've been through a load of shit here. Yeah? Tell them now. Call them now and tell them that we're not doing series two. Nip that in the bud. Nip that in the bud. <laughs> so you've got my heart going more now. <laughs> Amazing. Honestly, Carl Pilkington, he could make Carlo Ancelotti smile, this bloke. Fuck me. <laughs> And I'm sorry, if you don't understand that reference, then tough. Apparently it's a tradition that if you're going on a long walk, like I'm about to do, that I'm not in the mood for, it's good to see this doctor who blesses your body, checks out that you're well, and gets you ready for the, the trek ahead. He's not a doctor then, is he? So I, I, I meet this bloke, a uh, local fella, called Richard. Richard? Tiny. He's thinking he's miles away. Turns out he's about four foot, so he seemed further away than he actually was. Richard, yeah? Yeah. I'm you? Carl. Carl? Carl, yeah. Carl. How are your feelings? Um. What's with, you know, these random people in these countries having really English name? This one's called Richard. The guide was called, what was he called? Will or something, or Fred. I can't remember now. But, <laughs> is that just put on for the show? It must be. I mean, the people living in these countries, they must be called, like, Ricardo or Emilio, something like that. It's South America. It must be, right? There's no way you've got people there called Richard. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Uh, Dizzy. Shits. Yeah. Headache. <laughs> shits. Yeah. Uh, shits. Yeah. Headache. Headache. You got out like this bag of shite. Bag of shite. Pixie crap. <laughs> Plastic things. Bag of shite. <laughs> Made me laugh so much, <laughs> but he did. He got out this bag of shite. <laughs> Shits. Yeah. Headache. Headache. He got out like this bag of shite. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic things. You know when you have a bowl at home? Go, I might need that. And you, have, like, you chuck things in it, screws, bits of cotton, string. Belly button fluff, whatever. It's like he'd been round and gone and emptied all the shit bowls around the country and stuck the it in the shit bag. Shit bowls! I'm going to get Now he got out a guinea pig at one point. I'm not quite sure what was going on. That's a guinea break? pig? Yeah. He does. It's yeah. as big as a fucking But when you see a doctor who's using string and old earbuds and stuff, you kind of think, well, the guinea pig's probably got more of an idea of what's wrong with me than this fella has. <laughs> so I just went along with it. I wanted a fucking yeah. opinion from him. You know what I mean? From the guinea pig. No, no, no. <laughs> Best episode. I don't care. It is. This is fucking brilliant. Uh, I don't quite understand what's happening here. This is a Anything problem for your guinea pig? He said all the badness that was in me was transferred to the guinea pig. So somewhere, you know, there's a guinea pig walking around with major shits. <laughs> Is it this way? Fuck up. Keep going. 
All right, you ready? Do we have to bring all this stuff? Jesus, it's like going out with my mum. <laughs> she stops at every shop. It's like when you come back from B&M with your mum. <laughs> Just bags full of shite. <laughs> Enjoying the walk, Carl? No. Because I'm not well, am I? Not well. It's too hot. Oh, they're going in. Is that a cave? That bit of toffee you gave me is worn out. You got any more? <laughs> I'm not in the mood for this. He complains, but then Just he wants tell more. Us which way it is. There's no way anyone will be watching this going, that looks pleasant. Elsie, fancy going there? Definitely not. <laughs> How can I enjoy it after this? Or is it meant to work that way? That, you know, you're just happy to be there. God almighty. I've seen loads of people do this. I haven't seen anyone. <laughs> Look at that. How he just said, no, there's no, no one who's watching this is going to watch this thinking, oh, I'd like to go, what? Look at that, I would. But I wouldn't walk, you know, the the oxygen thing. Just being constantly out of breath, altitude sickness or whatever it's called. I mean, you just feel, constantly feel like you've just ran a marathon. Yet, you're not moving, I couldn't deal with that. So I'd have to f fly through it, but still... Just a bit, just to see it. Look at that, it's amazing. How much better is it? How... That's on our planet, look at that. Beautiful. How much better is Machu Picchu compared to that? Don't you think it's amazing that they made these kind of buildings and it's just going to get better? Yeah, it is. I think you're talking shit. <laughs> because I'm not looking for house here. This isn't a property <laughs> I'm not looking for house here. Just like this. But just something with a bit, 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 you know, a bit more outside space. What, what am I doing it for? If it's exactly like this, let's stop here. What Doesn't... I'd like to know about these people that live on top of this mountain, how it's affected them biologically, because it must affect a human body. You know, it must affect people over however many years they've lived there. It must be a, at least a couple hundred years or thousands of years. Not having enough oxygen in your, bo in your body. I mean, if your brain doesn't get enough oxygen for a short amount of time, you get permanent brain damage. So, I'd like to know if it affects these people. And it probably won't be shown here, but if anyone knows of a documentary or a video on YouTube that talks about it, then let me know, because I'd love to learn about that. It doesn't make sense, though. Because <coughs> these things they're living in look like bungalows. <laughs> What's the point if you've got to keep doing this? You might as well have a house with stairs. <laughs> you might have a house with... <laughs> the fuck? A bit more pleasant. Look at that. The fact that they built this up there. Fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck's sake. I don't get it. Why don't they just want to rest? <laughs> They've been walking up there with all these bags, out of breath, and now they're wasting breath, just making a racket. I mean, that doesn't even sound nice to me. That's not relaxing. They're all doing their own thing. Carl! I mean, I mean, it might not sound good to you, someone who's, you know, constantly bombarded the UK top 40, but to these people, that's probably a fucking number one hit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, had, I had a cassette of pure news. That, that wins the Peruvian Grammy, that does probably. <laughs> like panpipe stuff. Used to sort of make a bit, bit of a romantic evening. That's their Didn't dark side like of the moon. And there certainly wasn't a rat involved. <laughs> oh, God for that. <laughs> Peruvian Rhapsody. I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> Mama, I can't breathe. <laughs> I live on a mountain. <laughs> Oh fuck, don't fall on the fall off the edge. <laughs> Alright. Enjoy your dinner. No, not funny.
Look at that! That is just ridiculous. In the best way, obviously. Welcome to Machu Picchu. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Nice job. Yes. You're right. having a laugh, aren't you? See you. Ta da. Stop insulting people. <laughs> people still live there, right? Have we done a full circle? First impressions. Here we go. There isn't one. There isn't one. I just feel... I felt that view earlier that I saw was better than this one. You sure you're looking at the right thing? <laughs> that bit of grass and rock over there. Bit of grass and rock? I'm not going any further. Because it's more of what... That's we're... a fucking city built into a mountain top. And he's like, that bit of grass and rock over there. I'm sorry. Normally, I can't fault this plot, but that is disgusting. <laughs> I hope that he's just taking the piss there by saying that. But if he's serious, then that is disgusting. That is one of the most incredible things the human eye can look at. A fucking city built on top of a mountain. And not recently either, with your fucking, you know, Circo building company and... Cranes and helicopters bringing in girders. That were built before William Shakespeare, probably. Wow. I've already seen. I'm not killing myself. I've done everything that Ricky and Steve have wanted me to do. We need to do it anyway, Carl. We can't. Over there. I'm not going any further. Because it's more of what we've already seen. I'm not killing myself. I've done everything that Ricky and Steve have wanted me to do. We need to do it anyway, Carl. We can't. <clears throat> well, go then. You're standing here. The sun's going down. Get over there. I'm not going. I'm, I'll, I'll tell you now. I'm not going anymore. All right. Keep your pants on. <laughs> I say keep your hair on, but you ain't got any. <laughs> well, where do I find you? Well, I'm... I'm... I'm kind of at the wonder. Kind of at the wonder? Or are you at the wonder? I mean... I, I'm at the wonder. I'm kind of at the wonder. I've only just got here, so I've been walking about eight hours, right? Eight hours? Now, I'm at a point where I can see the wonder, the cameraman can see the wonder, but Richard, who's in charge, is worrying, going, Sky, I want to see the wonder. Have you got a problem if we just see it from here, have a look and go? I am not sure I'm happy about this, Carl. Oh, I want to see man. the wonders of the world in HD. That's what concerns me, my friend. Yes, yes. I've been <coughs> this gig with Ricky on Sky One. It's a major television thing. If they're putting all their money behind it, this is, their, this is make or break for them. But I've been walking make for eight hours. Make or break! And the view from here is magnificent. I mean, I'm, I can't remember exactly, but isn't, you know, Sky One in 2000 and whenever this was, they had some of the most... Saw after exclusive primetime shows available on British television, didn't they? And it was the home of The Simpsons before it moved to Channel 4. Futurama was on there. Um, oh, I can't remember what else. Are you just saying that now? Are you being honest with me? I think it looks magnificent. Carl, I have never heard you use the word magnificent in my life, so I'm suspicious. What? You feel like the Oh, I haven't been deprived. Not, not in this episode. Then, <laughs> Entertainment value. You're certainly not going to lie. You're never lying. No. No. Don't bother no. telling Ricky or anything. I'll speak to him when I get back. Yeah, there you go. Don't tell Ricky. Right. Wait Let's till see. I get back. Yeah. Wait until I'm over the Atlantic in my, seven, ten, in my tri Boeing 777, then he can ring me. <laughs> and there's fuck all he can do about it. <laughs> See? Easy. We'll just do a David Attenborough job on it when I get home. Just do a little <laughs> voiceover. Job done. Seventy miles from Cusco is one of the old ancient cities of the world. I want it. A maze that. of old rock 
and sort of huts. Sort of huts! Rock, huts, boulders, walls, lots of rock related old stuff, you know. Get, get. <laughs> lots of rock related old stuff, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, David will be proud of this one. <laughs> lots of old rock related stuff, you know. <laughs> Sort of old huts get lost in the maze. <laughs> get lost in the maze. That's, that's an easy thing to do. I mean, look at that old fella down there. He needs a step ladder to get out of the place. <laughs> God knows what she's playing at. And that's good, isn't it? Wonder of the world. Protect it with some strings, why not? Protect it! I mean, I'm struggling here, if I'm honest with you. I don't know how to sell it to you. Do you like llamas? Oh, llamas. That's the end. Right. Thank God for that, because I know this one's going to be a long one. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's uh, another episode of An Idiot Abroad. And that was by far the best one. That was absolutely hilarious. Uh, I loved seeing the tribe and, um, you know... I do find it just amazing, tribes, getting to see them, getting insight into their life. It's always really interesting and cool to see. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'll reply to that. So, yeah, um, cause, so as I said, because the Let Me Show episode that I did, it was blocked. I had to do something else, so you've got this to watch. I mean, no one's going to see it now. It's going to be not going to be up until gone one half one. Uh, so you'll be seeing this tomorrow. But yeah, um, <clears throat> it's been such a long time since we did an idiot abroad. When was it the last one? July, the thirtieth of July, over a month ago. That's ridiculous. So we were long overdue to do it anyway. But I just, you know, I don't have as much motivation to do these as things like Still Game and Chewing the Fat, because look at the views. No one gives a shit about this series. Honestly. Compared to, like, scroll down to the bottom, you know, you've got a, a rab there with 308. Ooh, ooh, look at me with all my views, fucking 300 views, big deal, I'm smashing it out. But, you know what I mean, compared to, like... <clears throat> but I do enjoy it, that's the other reason I'm doing this. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be doing it. Because it's just pointless. In terms of how well it's doing on the channel. I mean, it's not advancing the channel in any way whatsoever. But I do enjoy it. So I wanted to do it. Anyway, um, to the uh, half a dozen people that are going to watch this, please like the video. Um... And remember what I said at the beginning, I'm going to start doing like shout outs for subscribers. You know, if you've started a new job or something, or you've started... Well, you, you remember from the beginning. Go back and watch it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you'll be seeing this. And wouldn't have seen what I said in the beginning unless you skipped ahead. But go back and you'll see. That's a new thing that I'll be doing from now on. I think it's just a nice thing to do for people, you know. So, uh, yeah, like this video, subscribe for more. Uh, check out the Patreon, you can join from uh, just $1 a month. Limit Show will now become a Patreon series because it's blocked on YouTube, I can't get them on now. I mean, look, as far back as 22nd of July, they were being blocked. Although that still managed to get... However, how did that manage to do that? Well, oh, is it one of them that were viewed in Russia? Yeah, that's that's weird. Videos get blocked in Russia a lot. It's, uh... So yeah, Louis Show now Patreon show because it's not allowed on YouTube. Um, great episode, the best one so far. And we've got one left. Carl comes home. Interested to see what that is. Oh, what happens in that one? Obviously, we know what it is. He comes home. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, this was the best one. Hilarious. So, uh, anything else? No, that's it. Except once again, big shout out to Jesse on your first day of high school. Congratulations, buddy. Um, and good luck for the rest of the term. Yep, thanks for watching. Good night.